you know, you don't have to do what I do for a living, working with couples, uh, people um, who are having problems with their relationships, to understand that relationships are made and broken all around us all the time. You know, I'm sure that I don't know anybody who wouldn't know somebody whose relationship has just ended or they're struggling in their relationship. You know, everyone knows at least one person. You know, and when you're in that spot, you go, oh, what about my relationship? Oh, am I doing the right thing? Um, what do I need to do to protect it? Um, you, know, you know, and we go, oh, do I really want to be in this relationship? You know, all those sort of questions. Over the next couple of days, I'm going to explore with you five relationship killers that you must avoid. These are five things that you must avoid in your relationships. Are they the only things? No, they're not. But these are the most five common ones that I see. What would happen if you had a better relationship? What would that be like? I can tell you what it would mean for me. If my relationship was heaps better, my life would be heaps better. But my relationship is in a good spot. But, you know, there's still times when I need to make sure that I am better at my relationship. What about you? Come, join with me over the next five days as I share with you five things to avoid, five things that you need to change to make sure that your relationship is in a good spot.